What's up, YouTube? Soon. Oh, a lucky here. And today we're opening Konami's newest set. It's the Yu-Gi-Oh! GX Midterm Paradox from Speedle. But first I want to ask you guys to check out the channel, subscribe for more insane, maybe even godly videos. And of course, give this a thumbs up. And speaking of those thumbs up, guys, we are doing a giveaway today. All that you guys need to do, make sure you get that thumbs up, be subscribed, and post in the comments below which of the four new decks inside of here are you most excited for? We have Jaden, we have Cyrus, we have Sebastian, and we also have the Paradox Brothers. For me, it's going to be the Paradox Brothers, but I want to know. I want to know. Post in the comments below, guys. Let me know what you think. This is actually a really cool product if you play Speed Duels or you just like the nostalgic cards. Because this is, uh, I, I, I never expected to get a Gate Guardian deck uh, with such easy access. This is this is pretty sweet, guys. Of course, Jaden's in here too. Gotta have the Jaden. So this is the, the display that it comes in here, guys. This is the mini box. So we're just gonna jump in straight there. Comes with the play mat inside. If your local OTS has these, there is a event um, going on here. And that is, they should have a play mat, like a Tempest play mat. That's pretty cool. Inside, guys, inside of this, you're gonna end up getting some decks. This one I open just because it takes a minute just to get through the cards. So inside you're gonna get some secret rare cards. And I believe you're gonna get four each time. So we have Water Dragon here. Very cool. Songa of Thunder. Look at that guys, very nice. Look at, like, I don't think Songa was ever meant to be a secret rare, but man, is that sick. That is really cool guys. We have UFO Roid Fighter Tempest on top of UFO Roid and Super Vehicle Roy Jumbo Drill. Very nice. So first off, you'll have your decks inside here. You can kind of separate them. So this is gonna be Sebastian's deck. This is gonna be the Paradox Brothers deck. And then inside here you have, you have the different skill cards that we can kind of look at and talk about. Um, you have your Roy deck. And then of course, our Cyrus deck and then Jaden's deck here. And then they give you some bonus cards inside as well, besides the skills. Got Sea Koala, Des Koala, Hikaru. Des Wombat, Sea Koala, and Des Koala. Guys, these are actually pretty good cards. Frost and Flame Dragon. That's pretty cool. Big Coke, UFO Roid, has a fusion there, and Elemental Necro Shaman. Obviously, you just put those in the Jane deck. The idea is with the extra cards, they don't necessarily aren't part of the main deck that you get, but they can buff up some of the decks inside here. So each of these, you'll kind of see a purpose, or at least have some sort of flow with one of these four decks. And then we're gonna go straight into these decks. So the first deck that I wanna look at here is this Gate Guardian deck. This is crazy. This is like actually insane and crazy all in one. So they give you a common Gate Guardian, which is already incredible. Cannot be normal summoner set, must be first special summoned by attributing Sangha, Kazujin, and Suijin on the field. Labyrinth Wall. Guys, such classic cards here. Crass Clown, of course. Dream Clown. Jurai Gumo. Shadow Ghoul. Dude, guys, these cards are so cool. Sangha of Thunder. Kazujin. Suijin. Stone Statue. Ryukishin Clown. I love the clowns, the labyrinth, the freaking um, Shadow Ghoul. Guys, this is so nostalgic. Kaiser Seahorse is why not. Got an angler and a prodigy for some attribute shenanigans. Soul Exchange is in here. Meteor Fairy, uh, Fairy Meteor Crush. Classic defense crushing card. Tribute Doll, very cool. Double Summit, that's actually a really good card and quite valuable. Judgment of Anubis made it in here. Secret Rare from classic stuff. And Labyrinth of Nightmare, of course, to kind of flow with your um, Labyrinth Wall. Guys, such a cool deck. Like, this is so nostalgic. This is this is very exciting, I feel like. Very, very exciting, guys. All right, so that's the Gate Guardian deck. Just talking about that, let me just mention a couple skill cards that come with. You'll kind of see the skill cards just kind of do their thing here. They give you like three for each person here. So obviously, Jaden's are there. You got Sebastian, Cyrus. Oh, there's the Koala guy. So the Koala guy just has a little extra deck there. All right, so just to see some of these skill cards. Remember, these skill cards will just stay on the field and you can use it during your main phase. 
Activate skill during your main phase, shuffle your entire hand in your deck, and then add a level 11 monster from your deck to your hand. And if you do, special summon, that's crazy, special summon from your deck, um, two level 7 monsters with different attributes, but their attack and defense become zero, and effects are negated. Most cards face them on the field. Um, when this card is targeted, oh, if you summon, sorry, it says, while well, you control Gate Guardian, once this card is face up on the field, the target when it's targeted for attack, you can change the monster's attack to zero. So it gives Gate Guardian that bonus effect that it has in the anime, and it also allows you to bring out, of course, your Sui Jin, Kaze Jin, and grab Gate Guardian. So very cool, guys. Behold, Gate Guardian. Then we have Beware of the Brothers Paradox. You can normal summon level seven monsters for one less tribute. That's pretty sweet. Tribute summon one level seven monster in addition to your normal center set and your opponent takes no effect damage. Wow. You can only attack with one monster each turn, but that monster can make a second attack on monsters during each battle phase. Guys, that's so cool. Earth, thunder, water, and wind. Activate the skill when your life points are 1,000 or less. Normal summon sewage and cause your Sangha without tribute summoning this turn. Or if you control them, you can apply this skill. Send as many cards on the field as possible to grave special summon gate guardian. Ignoring summoning conditions. Boom! <laughs> I love it guys I love it next deck we'll check out we'll check out the Jaden deck here guys here's the Jaden deck it is Elemental Hero Avian nice Elemental Hero Burstinatrix Elemental Hero Clayman Sparkman Goddess with the Third Eye Winged Karibo Dark Catapulter Elemental Hero Bubble Man Elemental Hero Blade Edge Wild Hearts Blaze Man, that's a big deal, guys. This is the normal summon add poly from your deck. This is a um, very powerful card in regular Yu-Gi-Oh! and in, of course now Speed Duel Yu-Gi-Oh! A Bubble Man reprint's very nice too. Poly, Heated Heart, Righteous Justice, Skyscraper 2, Hero Lives, big card there. A little Philosopher's Stone, a little Link Rebo action. Uh, Hero Signal, Hero Ring, Counterattack. They give you a fusion for Tempest. That's pretty cool, guys. A common Tempest. Electrum? Electrum is in here. Wild Wingman, Hero Mariner, and Nova Master, guys. Wow, those fusions are on a different level, I feel like, compared to some of the basic fusions they gave you in the last Jaden deck. Very cool, guys. So, when I see these skill cards, it's funny. I, I don't know exactly what Konami's trying to do here, but I feel like they're trying to use how you do some sort of double duel um, using the Cyrus deck and the Jaden deck versus maybe two brother Paradox decks or something. Um, just because of the way they've done these skill cards and the way, obviously, their two decks combine together. So this says, once per turn, you can activate one of these skills based on the face of monsters. You control elements of heroes, discard one trap, add one level six or lower, Machine Roy, and then destroy one monster whose attack is less than. That's crazy. Machine Roy, discard a spell, special summon level 6 or lower Machine Roy, or elemental hero monster from your deck defense, which is negate its effects. Both, discard a card, fusion, summon a fusion monster using only a Roid and elemental hero monsters. These are all once per turn. Guys, that card's insane! So, if you basically combine, I guess, maybe that's what they're thinking you're going to do here. Combine your Cyrus deck and your Jaden deck, you got Believe in Your Bro as your skill, and your summon UFO ufo roid fighter maybe turn one turn two that's pretty cool hero world this is a attribute hero um card here that really it looks like helps your electrum so based on a different attributes you get a whole bunch of different effects heroes unite fusion and um this allows you to discard a card and fusion summon fusion monsters with elemental heroes and this one can be only used once per duel so this one seems pretty crazy very cool guys Next deck here, guys, is going to be the Roy deck. We got Psychroid deck. This is Cyrus's deck. Uh, this is Zane's little bro. Gyroids. Steamroid. These are some big cards for Speed Duel, guys. Big cards. Steamroid. Drillroid's crazy for Speed Duel. UFO Roid. Awesome. Mechanical Hound. Express. Ambulance. Submarine. Direct Attacks and Speed Duels. Stealth Roid. Truck Roid. Rescue Roid. Mixer Roid. Got the little weapon and change there. Hey, that... Weapon and change on that submarine roid. Watch out. Shield Crush. That's a big deal. Vika Roid. Twister. Supercharge. Wonder Garage. And Emergeroid Call. Guys, 
This is such, this is such an awesome Roy deck. Steam Gyroid, Super Vehicle Roy Jumbo Drill, Ambulance, and Super Vehicle Roy Stealth Union. <laughs> Love it, guys. Technically, this little Stealth Union guy can take on... Nope. Can't even beat Gate Garden. <laughs> and we'll check out some of Cyrus's uh, skills here. The Roids are all right. So this is a Vehicleroid Connection Zone uh, card. So Fusion Summon Roids. And then you control them. They can um, gain attack equal to their level. And deal some extra damage there. So just buffing up your Roids and making sure you get out your Fusions. This is a Small Roid Big City. A small Roid, but a big city. Once per turn, you can target a face-up card you control and destroy it. If you do add a Roid from your deck to your hand. Wow, that's once per turn. Once per turn, you declare an attack involving one opponent's monster and a Roid. You can send one monster, road monster from your deck to your grave and switch the original attack and defense to the battling monster of your battling monster during the damage count. Wow, shield and defense and a searcher field spell? Oh, it's actually a field spell. So this, this card can be destroyed. So Cyrus skill field spell. You just start the game with a field spell. That's cool. And then of course, power bond. I wonder what this does. Activate during main phase, discard a card, fusion summon a fusion monster from your extra deck. And then you have to use cards from your hand or field. If you do, it gains attack equal to its original attack. And it can't attack directly. And you still take that battle damage at the end. So it's still power bond. It's a regular power bond, but it uh, it's a skill that you can use at any time. Wait, activate the skill during your main phase. You can use this card multiple times? Oh my god. That's gross. That's gross. It's not even once per duel. Um, all right, so that's Cyrus's cards there. I guess that Super Vehicle Roid Stealth Union dude is actually bigger with that power bond. <laughs> Very nice. Um, last but not least, we have the Water Dragon deck. We got that Water Dragon there. Hyo Zanryu! Hydro Get Ons. Oxy Get On. Jurat cards. There's a lot of dinos in here. That makes sense. Carbon, I didn't know, oh, I forgot about this card. Carbonetum, that actually makes sense for the deck. Dogo Ren, the Mad Flame Kaiju. We gotta get some fire burning here in this water deck. It's a cool card. Water Dragon Cluster, bringing out the Legendary Duelist packs. Duo Terion, also Legendary Duelist, got two of those. Ririokus, Scrolls, Legendary Ocean, nice bonding. Bonding again, you got H2O and D2O. Living Fossil, makes sense. Curse Seal and Bonding DHO. So very nice guys, of course. His whole deck is going to be bringing out these dinos and obliterating your opponent, along with bringing out, of course, these giant water dragons and potentially flame kaijus. <laughs> Very cool. Sebastian's got a nice deck there. I got a feeling though Sebastian needs some love from his skills. Let's check it out. Chemistry in motion. Nice. This is a once per duel. You can place a counter on this card and apply the appropriate effect depending on how many counters. Once per turn. Nice. Discard a dinosaur card, add a dinosaur monster with a different attribute from your deck to your hand. Interesting. Normal summon a wind or water dinosaur monster from your hand. The names of all water dinosaur monsters you currently control become Hydrogedon until the end of this turn. And then add bonding H2O from your deck to your hand. Remove all counters from this card, change the attributes of all face of monsters your opponent control to fire slash pyro. That is sick! It's like a countdown card. Chemistry in motion. So each turn, Sebastian's cards are getting more and more powerful. I like that. That's how you make a deck that's not so bueno, kind of bueno. Under pressure, activate the skill while you control. Hyo's on Ryu! What, did something happen in GX with Hyo's on Ryu? Bro! Once per turn, you reveal the top four cards of your deck and then place them. And then if any of them are monsters that you revealed, apply the appropriate skills in sequence. Carbon Nedon, you control the Heroes on Ryu gains a thousand attack. Hydro Get On, Heroes on Ryu is unaffected by opponent's monster effects. Oxy Get On, destroy one face up monster your opponent controls and inflict 800 damage. What? <laughs> Heroes on Ryu applying that pressure. Wow, that's so cool. Love it, guys. Unexpected Heroes on Ryu support, guys. Now, now I want to make a Heroes on Ryu deck. <laughs> oh man, I forgot about this last skill here. This is Chumley. Once per turn, you can change one face up Koala. 
or kangaroo monster's battle position. They control cannot attack while... Whoa, 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 whoa. Koala and kangaroo monsters you control can attack while in defense position. If they do, apply their defense for damage, Cal. What? Look at that. Just keep your koala in defense, 1600. Keep them in D, 1800. Now, maybe not that guy. He's only three. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Chilling out back. Got that Australian chumley. That's funny, guys. All right. And before we end this video, guys, remember we are doing a giveaway. Please enter that giveaway today, guys. We are giving away three of these decks. Three decks. That's three separate winners. All that you guys got to do is post in the comments below and let us know which of these decks is more, are you more excited for? We got the Jaden deck, we got the Cyrus deck, the Sebastian, the Water Dragon, and the Gate Guardian or Paradox Brother deck. Let us know in the comments below, guys, what you're more excited for out of this set. And we got three free decks coming your way. All right, before we end this though, guys, let's also see if we can get some more secret rares. Let's check them out. All right, guys, another box here. Let's see, just kind of pop it open. And the secrets are just chilling on top. Woohoo! Bubble Man Secret Rare? Is that the highest freaking rarity for this card? Oh no. How many secrets are in here? Is it 12 or 16? That might be the highest rarity for Bubble Man. And these are all Euro print cards, guys. The card quality is phenomenal. It is insane. It is godly. Look at that Bubble Man. Oh, I might want to get that great. Ooh! Ooh! Tempest. Ooh! Hero Lives. Oh, Dogo Ran. Oh my God. Oh my God. I love those secrets. Oh, wow. Dude, Dogo Ran as a secret is sick. Hero Lives. Guys, that's second highest rarity of Hero Lives. Wow, Tempest. I love the dark printing for the European. Oh my golly. Golly, guys. All right, let's open another one, see if we can get some more secret rares here, guys. Believe in the heart of the cards. Okay, here we go. So I believe the grouping of secrets stays the same each time. So let's pop this open and we'll see if it changes here. Heart of the cards guide us. Oh, we got Tempest, Water Dragon, Kaze Jin, and Sangha. All right. 21. Oh man, I that says 20. Oh, it's A21. No, it's just saying that what, what deck they're from there. Okay, we'll keep going. We'll keep going. Let's just pop this whole thing. Let's see how we do. Let's see how we do here. All right, guys. Next secret rare pack from this GX box. Midterm GX box. Come on, baby. Bubble Man, Dogo Ran, UFO for right, Roy, and Drill Roy! Look at the Drill Roid secret rare, guys. Nice grab on that pack. All right, next secret rare pack, guys. Here we go. Let's see if we can get something incredible. We got the Jumbo Drill, Sui Jin, Hero Lives, and Gate Guardian! Yes! Yes! Gate Guardian secret rare. Oh my God. The man, the myth, the legend, Gate Guardian Secret Rare. My life is complete. My life is complete. Boom. Guys, look at this. Look at this. Boom. This is this is this is destiny right here, guys. This is destiny. So you take that. You just make some magic happen. Make some magic happen, guys. Never would I ever have thought I'd get Sui Jin Secret Rare, Sangha Secret Rare, Kaze Jin Secret Rare, and a Gate Guardian Secret Rare all in the same product. Guys, this is insane. This is actually insane. I love it. Thank you, Konami. Thank you. The more I look at that, the more I like it. The more I look at that, the more I like it. I think we pulled all the secrets. Let's just see, guys. One more time here. Last secret rare pack, guys. Here we go. Give it to us. Kaiba! 
Wow. Unfreaking believable, guys. I'm pretty sure we got most, if not all, of the 12 different secret rares. But what a beautiful set, guys. Truly, I, I actually really like this product. Speed duels are quite fun. I know it's not regular Yu-Gi-Oh, but if you don't have time, that much time to play, man, some of you just really have to understand all the different intricacies and all the different cards to, to really play Yu-Gi-Oh at a high level. For Speed Duel, man, you can kind of jump in and be like, bro, I got this Gate Guardian deck here with this Gate Guardian skill card. Let's just go. <laughs> so uh, stay tuned for that, guys. And as always, thank you so much for watching. Please remember to enter that giveaway. Check out the links at the top of the description below. And simply, unlucky, signing out.